This is a quick demonstration of how to put an MP3 or other kind of audio file on a web page uh, using the Google Sites web system. So we're at the any particular page and we want to create a new page at Google Sites so I'm going to click create page or we could be going to any existing page. So now we have a new page on which to put our mp3 file. We're now in the editor so I can make changes. So underneath this sentence where the cursor is blinking I want to insert a gadget. So clicking insert in the menu bar then you really have to scroll all the way to the bottom until you see more gadgets click on more gadgets. There are many. Some work, some don't. Here's one that does work. You're welcome to search for others just by searching mp3 player. This one's been tested to work. I'm going to select it. By clicking on it, I'm going to click select one more time. And then I'm going to click OK. Now at this point I simply want to test to see if the gadget's inserting on my page and if it plays an audio file that's associated with it. So I'm going to click here. What we're dealing with here. And I can see that this short clip plays. Now the second thing I would like to do is do a very basic edit to this file and then the third edit we're actually going to insert into it an mp3 file that I've created as a model of you having created something. I'm going to click edit page. I'm going to click once on the gadget. I'm going to go to properties. In this particular case the only change I'm going to make, a very simple quick change, is to give it a title and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Save. From here I'm going to click the play button. What we're dealing with here. Now I'm going to make a further change and what I want to do is add a particular mp3 file in it that I've moved into the file cabinet. Every website here is, needs to have a file cabinet at Google Sites so that you can add your own files that you've created and represent your own compositions. So there's a wide variety of files that I've created here. I'm going to pick one, one titled Little Dove, and I'm going to right click on it to get a menu or a control click. And I'm going to say copy the link. I want the web address of that file where it says download. Having copied that, I want to go back to my file where I want to insert the video. Move into the editor by clicking Edit Page. Click on the gadget itself and then Properties. And then I'm going to move up to the top where the location of the MP3 file goes. And I'm going to do a paste, Control V, Command V, depending on what platform you're on. Uh, I'm not done yet, but notice there's a long web address in here. But there's some things on the end of this web address that need to be deleted. So I'm backing over until this particular pointer to the file ends in .mp3 and nothing after it. I'm going to click OK. Now there's some width and dimension changes that we could have made there, but I'm going to click Save. And then hit Play. And now instead of the previous quote, We'll hear some music. High on the top of an old... And my voice reading a poem. And that's all there is to it to insert an audio file, which then opens the door to a wide range of audio compositions that you and your students might be doing. <laughs>